Hello everyone, we're the Big Red SN guys alongside Jordan Washington. I'm Wesley Williams. We're here to talk a little post-game action between Sam Houston and Lamar. Final score here, Sam Houston 42, Lamar 10. Jordan, it was a very ugly game for Lamar. A lot of missed opportunities, a lot of turnovers. Tell us, what just wasn't going right for Lamar today? Well, it was actually more than one thing, Wesley. We lost a battle at the line of scrimmage, and it was a lot of missed opportunities on both sides of the ball. You've seen a lot of players drop interceptions. You had receivers drop passes. And that's not what you want if you at least want to be competitive in the Southland Conference. Sam Houston is a very credible team, like we mentioned before. And against a squad that talented, you can't come in and make these mistakes. Not at home, not in the season opener, and definitely not in front of your home crowd. So, I mean, it's a lot to work on for the cards, especially as they go back to the drawing board, looking forward to Abilene. And with those little things to work on, what I saw that really disturbed me was a lot of missed tackles. Lamar's yeah. really going to have to crack down on that. Jared Johnson, the quarterback from Sam Houston, he seemed to be juking everybody like Michael Vick in 04. It, it, it was just really bad how, how bad they were just missing him. And that's, it's, it's just not, that's just one thing. Special teams, you've got to hold on to the ball. We can't have muff punts. We can't have people coming up from behind and taking the ball out from us running backs we got to hold on to the ball too many fumbles and also Caleb Berry looked like he again like we said in Texas A&M he was running for his life no time to throw the ball had an early interception but he was able to bounce back and respond with another touchdown later in the game yeah you know he was able to get somewhat of a rhythm going as the game really trickled on but he looked a bit spastic at times back there. Once again, mentioning the battle at the line of scrimmage was lost by the cards. The defensive line of Sam Houston really applied pressure to Caleb Berry. And like I mentioned before, he's best when he's able to stand in that pocket and has time to deliver to the great receivers he does have, like Reggie Begleton and Mark Roberts, and even Devon Brown, who came through and made some really key catches that almost put the cards back into the game. And then on the other side of the ball, when you look at Lamar's D-line against Sam's O-line, Sam was protecting their quarterback to the highest degree. He had all the time in the world. I mean, on a lot of those drives when he dropped back, he actually snuck it on third down because that was the only thing that was open. Lamar's cornerbacks played fairly decent despite obviously a huge scoring output by Sam Houston that really got carried away as the game went on. They played fairly well, but once again, the defensive line and the offensive line for Lamar, we need to see more improvement out of those guys. And with that improvement, you got to wonder how these guys are feeling after a, a big loss like that. They, like you said earlier, this was probably our best chance to beat Sam, and we didn't come through. We let the little things beat us, we let turnovers beat us, and we missed out on a lot of opportunities to put points on the board. The score could have been a lot closer than what it, the final score showed. You know, it certainly could have, but I think we got down on ourselves early. I think after the Caleb Berry interception early in the first quarter and then a missed opportunity by Mark Roberts late in the f first half, I believe, it was just really tough to get that rhythm going and we really got down on ourselves. And football is a game of momentum. It's whoever's rolling at the time, whoever has that hot hand, and Sam had it and kept it rolling all night. Ray Wood had also said it best. You can't spot a really good caliber team like that, a 16-point lead at halftime. Yeah. It, it, it's just... There were moments where you thought, Lamar, hey, we might just come back. We're going to get a couple points. And then the momentum killer as like a penalty. Lamar was penalized a lot in this game. Very dumb penalties. They got a key on the little things, but it starts in practice. And they're going to have a big week to brush this game off and get ready for Abilene Christian next week, which is going to be a big road test for them. Yeah, so, I mean, just looking back on this game, Wesley, what do you think are some of the bright spots for the Cards? Bright spots? They know their defense can step up when their back is against the wall. They almost had a big goal line stop late in the fourth quarter, but the game was already pretty much out of reach. But what I did see from the defense is they're not going to bow down to nobody. Early when Sam Houston was up 13-0, there was a couple drives where Sam Houston, they might score a t another touchdown and put this game way out of reach. But Lamar bounced back and held them to a lot of field goals today. I think it was two or three inside our own 20-yard line, and they really did respond well. So that's one good thing I can take away from this game was that defense does know how to bow its neck in the goal line. Yeah, the only thing good I can truly take away from this game is the new helmets. <laughs> I mean, with <laughs> they the did game, look sharp, didn't they? They did, they did. I mean, a game like this, as you're looking for the silver lining in those gray clouds, the only thing you can honestly pull from is that the passing game was somewhat effective. For Caleb Berry, despite throwing that early interception, he started to find a rhythm as the game went on. 
and Mark Roberts ended up catching that touchdown, which honestly could have been a pick depending on how you look at it, whether you were wearing orange or whether you were wearing red. So there's things to work on for the cards, but overall, if that's the one thing you can be proud of or an identity for the cards for this game, it was that they, sunk, they got the game going passing. But even to the negative point on that, they were very conservative with the play calling. Very. I mean, you've seen a lot of runs in this game in situations where the, a lot of the fans were expecting pass. It, it got you wondering about the strategy of the team, you know, and which direction they were really trying to go this game. And, and you picked it up earlier when, when you talked to me. You cannot run the same play five times in a row. Carl Harris gashed Sam Houston two consecutive times. And then whether we ran a variation of it or the exact same play, you cannot run to the right side of the field five times in a row. And that's how Lamar just really came up short on a lot of plays. Yeah, I count those even as missed opportunities because in a situation like that, you can get a quality playoff with a good pass or even run it enough to convert a field goal, which Lamar wasn't able to do to a block and also with a miss. So those are chances you have to put points on the board to keep your team active and in the game. You got to cash in on those, Wesley. Yep. And he, Coach Ray Woodard did allude to it. He said Cade Harrington was a little rusty, but to me, that, that sounded a lot like an excuse. You can't just say your players are just rusty. When you put them in a starter like that, you expect them to play and ball out like they normally would. Yeah, Cade had a couple of short bursts in here, but Sam kept them really contained. I don't think the rotation of the running backs was really good, too. You were just only bouncing one and two out, and then you let Emmett Riley finish out the stretch. You got to have consistency with yeah. rotating your players in. Yeah, and you know, it'll be good to see if the guys can bring that to Abilene Christian, a better rotation, that is, and really get a win on the road. Mm -hmm. So all you Lamar fans, stay tuned for some Lamar football as they travel to Abilene to take on Abilene Christian University this weekend. With the Big Red SN guys, I'm Jordan, and for Wesley, have a good night. <laughs>